John 8 21 and 24 and read then said Jesus unto them I go my way and ye shall seek me and shall die in your sin whether I go ye cannot come verse 24 I say therefore to you that ye shall die in your sin for he believe not that I am he ye shall die in your sin then said they unto him who art thou and Jesus said unto them, Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning, I have many things to say and to judge of you. But he that sent me is true, and I speak to the world those things which I have heard from him. My subject today is when you have a doubt about Jesus. Is coming from the devil. When you have a doubt about Jesus, it's coming from the devil. And it's time to stop listening to the devil or listen to your flesh and listen to people and read, study the Bible for yourself. Because there are a lot of opinions out there about who Jesus Christ is. My friend, there's a lot of opinions. But we have enough word in the Bible to move all the opinions about who Jesus Christ is. And one of the biggest opinions that's out there, people want to know whether Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Now, the latest at the well. She draw the conclusion that in verse 25 and it read the woman said unto him I know that Messiah cometh which is called Christ when he is come he will tell us all things so this woman was a was curious about who is the Messiah and a lot of people listen to this, my voice right now want to know who is the Messiah the Messiah was not Jim Jones. The Messiah was not David Divine. The Messiah was not Daddy Grace. The Messiah was not Song Mung Moon. The Messiah was not Charles Russell. The Messiah was not people that we inspired us. The Messiah is is written. In verse 25 and 26, the woman said unto him, I know that Messiah cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus said unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. Now the reason why I'm saying that when you are having doubt about Jesus is coming from the devil. But guess what? It's not just coming from the devil. It coming from a lot of, lot of, lot of people that say that they are the Messiah. And the Bible told, listen, listen. When, when, when the disciples was wondering about a lot of things, like we are wondering about a lot of things. And the Bible said, glory to God, in Matthew the twenty-fourth chapter, verse number one. And Jesus went out and apart from the temple, and the disciples came to him to show him the building of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olive, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, a lot of people are curious about these things. When shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? This is what you say. What my subject again? When you are having doubt about Jesus Christ, it's coming from the devil. It ain't come just from the devil now. It's coming from false prophets. And the Bible say in verse 4, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed 
that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Are you deceived today? I still have a doubt that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. If you're looking for another Messiah, you're going to find him, and you're going to find a false one. But if you're not reading the Bible every day of your life and studying the Bible and praying to God, you're going to be deceived. This is the world we're living in, and everybody saying, I am the Messiah. But the Messiah, glory to God, he's coming back again. He glory to God. I say he's coming back again. And if you believe, don't just believe me, believe the word that I'm saying. I'm saying believe the Bible because Jesus Christ is coming back again. Why is he coming back again, prophet? Hallelujah. Why is he coming again, preacher? Because the Bible says, listen what the Bible says. The Bible says in Acts chapter 1 verse 9, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld him, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfast toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood. He said, two women. He said, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, I'm reading from Acts chapter 1, verse 11, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come in like manner as he have seen him go up into heaven. So I have proof that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. When I say Jesus Christ is the Messiah, because what I read, glory to God, hallelujah, Acts, and I read uh, Matthew 24, 1 through 4, and I read, glory to God, John, hallelujah, 4, 25, and I read John 8, glory to God, 21 and 24, I'm, I'm drawing a picture to tell people, my friend, when you are having doubt about Jesus Christ, it's coming from the devil, because the devil don't want you to know the truth. The devil wants you to know lies because the devil is a liar. The devil is a murderer from the beginning. The devil is full of mess. The devil got a message. The message is deception. The message is deceit. The message is destruction. And if you are a believer, stay a believer. You should have no doubt. Mama said, how long ought you between two opinions if the Lord be God serve him? And the Bible said, the people answer not a word. But listen, and the reason why I'm sticking on 824 because Jesus Christ said, I say there unto you that if ye, if ye shall die in your sin, for it is he, believe not that I am he, you going to die in your sins. What I'm saying to you are so listening. Be careful who you're listening to. If, you, if people are not bringing forth the word of God, the Bible says, my friend, hey, glory to God. And I, and, and I preach this all the time, but I'm going to keep on preaching on the Jesus come, my friend. Everybody not preaching the gospel. Amen. Everybody coming with a new gospel. And the Bible says, listen what the Bible says. Listen what Paul say. Paul say, I marvel that ye are so removed from him that call you unto the grace of Christ unto another gospel which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or angel from heaven preach another gospel unto you that we, we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. As we say therefore, so I say unto you, if any man preach any other gospel unto you that we have received, let him be a curse. So I'm telling you, when you have a doubt, about Jesus Christ is coming from the devil but the devil is a spirit the devil people say the devil is a white man no the devil is a black man the devil is who he can use to pervert the gospel of Jesus Christ 
in my conclusion I'm saying that Jesus Christ is the Messiah and a lot of people gonna say that he's not the Messiah but he's the Messiah he's not no angel he's the Messiah he was not just a man he was God in man glory to God hallelujah the flesh was not was not God hallelujah God was in the flesh dwelt among men and was the holy glory Jesus Christ was the first begotten of the dead everybody died and didn't come up but Jesus the sepulchre the grave was empty and if you believe the gospel you are believing the good news you are believing the fresh news you are believing the book that nobody can touch this is a book of life he said I sent forth my word and heal them. My word are not just just word, they are spirit and they are life. You gotta believe this. Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Hallelujah.